How's it going everybody? This is Andy with Aston Valley Vapes and today we're going to be taking a look at the iJoy Limitless RDTA. iJoy did send these over along with the new iJoy Tornado. So stay tuned to see how you can win a brand new Limitless RDTA. Like always, we're going to take a look at the Limitless, talk about the basics real quick, then we'll dive up, go in close, take a close up look at it, show you the deck and all of that. I'll share my thoughts on it and then we'll also talk about that giveaway here for the Limitless. Alrighty, so the basics on the Limitless. It is a 24 millimeter atomizer. It is a dual post deck and it does not come with a ceramic block like the Theorem or Avocado, so you cannot use a single coil on this. You have to use a dual coil. If you're against dual coils, then that probably is going to sway you in the direction of one of those other RDTAs. But if you are a fan of dual coils and you're fine with that, then keep on listening and we'll talk a little bit more about this guy. This tank here has got a 5 mil capacity with some great wicking holes. I really like the wicking holes and it does have side filling as well, located well on the side right here you can see that I've not had any problems with the side filling so far and I do like it I wouldn't say it's as good as the avocado 24 millimeter but this has been treating me great so far this tank also has adjustable airflow and it comes with a Delrin chuff cap a little drip tip to put inside the chuff cap if you would like I do like it it is not 510 compatible but you can get one of those little adapters if you want to use a 510 drip tip on here it does make it look a little funky in my opinion but that's up to you guys and it is an option out there for you alrighty so let's go in and take a close-up look at the limitless RDTA you can see the tank itself very clean design and you can see the chuff cap on top and it does come with this extra little mouthpiece to put on in there to extend it a bit that's optional I definitely do prefer it on there just pop that chuff cap, chuff cap off right there take this this is detachable as well it unscrews right here alright so now you can see that deck right there the two post no ceramic piece included so you will have to use dual coils in there very nice deck though very, a lot of building space there's the wicking channels. I'll show you that more. This unscrew this part right here, and you can see those wicking ch channels are awesome. They're not hard to get your cotton through at all. They are big and they are very prevalent. Easy to slide your cotton down there into the base. Very easy to detach. So if you need to clean it or anything like that, it is easy to do. Let's put this back on here. Screw it in. And the threads are actually on that deck right there. So this piece threads onto that, which is nice. That is a nice inclusion there by iJoy. Put that on there. Put the cap on. Slide that on and put the chuff cap back on there. This is it fully completed, 24 millimeter. As you can see, that protruding pin right there, you can screw it down a little bit. And that was their way of making it accessible to use with a hybrid mod, but we obviously do not recommend that. There's a little bag of goodies you get. You get some extra O-rings, red, so if you want to do a red on black look, you can do that. And then you get two pre-built coils in there. When you install both of those coils, it comes out to 0.33 ohms is what I experienced because I have got it in this one right here, right now. As you can see there, it comes as you can see there, it comes out to 0.33 ohms on this little cool fire TC 100 As you can see with my wicks, they are barely coming into the I've experienced with all three different ways of having it come all the way to the bottom, the middle, and the top, and I'm actually liking them to the top just as long as you remember to tip your mod when you are vaping it. Now here you can see the build I've got it. Those are the those are the coils that come with this mod, and I'm liking them a lot. It comes out to 0.33 like I just said earlier, and I'm surprised I haven't had any dry hits because my wicking job was was not too good when I tried this little short end, but it is working. It's not the prettiest wick job, but it definitely gets the job done and it gives great vapor and flavor production. That is going to wrap up the close-up though. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will happily answer them. But let's bring it back up top and talk a little bit more about this guy and see how you can win one. Now that we've got that close-up out of the way, let's talk a little bit more about this Limitless RDTA. So this is the first real review I've done on this channel of an RDTA or RDA, but I have to tell you I am a huge fan of this one already. All these new RDTAs, they're all great. I really haven't had a bad experience with any of them that I can think of yet. I would rank this up there as one of the better ones. I'm also a fan of the Avocado 24mm and the Theorem as well. I know having to use a dual coil setup on this might set some of you guys back and that might sort of push you away, but if, you are, if you're fine with dual coils, I would definitely suggest checking it out. We actually do not carry it at AstonValleyVapes.com yet, but we will be carrying it here and it should be in stock next week sometime. Price point will probably be around $20 to $25 in that range somewhere. Once we do get it in stock, I will put a link in the description to our website.
Like I said in that close up there, I'm using the pre-built coils that came with it coming in at 0.33 ohms. And I'm using it right now actually on the Cool Fire 4. Side note, Indikin is releasing a Cool Fire 4 18650. I'm in heaven, I could, it should be released next week. We should have them probably the following week in stock. I'm extremely excited for that. I mean, it's not gonna be too fancy. It looks just like the Cool Fire 4, but I just love Indican products and I am excited to be able to use a replaceable 18650 inside of one. So we'll definitely be covering that and we'll definitely have it in stock when that comes out. Other than that little random blurb right there, yeah, I've got it 0.33 ohms on the Cool Fire 4 TC100 and I'm vaping it around 60 watts. With this build in there with the pre-built coils, I feel like that is the best for my personal settings. It's got great flavor, great vapor production, and I haven't had any issues with dry hits at all yet. There are several different ways to wick it. You could wick it where it comes pretty much all the way to the bottom of the tank, or you take it to the middle. Mine's actually pretty much sitting at the top of the tank, as you can see here. You can barely see those wicks coming down there. I have tried it with the wicks all the way at the bottom, but I actually prefer it this way. And I ha like I said, I haven't had any dry hits. The one thing you need to remember is you just can't vape like this all the time because that would cause dry hits. You do have to tip it to the side all the way so it gets those wicks nice and saturated with e-liquid. That's pretty much my opinions on it. I say let's go ahead and take a vape on it right now, as I said. 60 watts, 0.3 ohm, or well, 0.33 ohm build on here. And that's with the two coils that came with the Limitless pre-built. Right now I've got the airflow at about 40% open. Let's see how it vapes at 60 watts. As you can see there, great vapor production, 60 watts. 0.33 ohm build on here. And that's only with the airflow halfway open. I'm gonna open it up all the way and see what the difference is like. Now I've got the airflow opened all the way up and I'm still vaping at 60 watts. Let's go ahead and take a vape. Boy, whew. that is some fantastic flavor and vapor production. This thing right now, if you already own like a Theorem or one of those other tanks, I wouldn't say there's anything revolutionary about this one where you should go out and pick it up unless you just love the design, which I'll be honest, it does have a great design, but I wouldn't say there's anything revolutionary that would make you need to pick this up if you already do have a Theorem or Avocado or one of the other RDTAs, the TF, RTA, or one of those. But set, if you are looking for an RDTA, this is a fantastic one to jump into. If you're looking maybe to get, get into RDTAs and it might be your first one, I would suggest this one, as long as you know about battery safety and Ohm's Law, as we do cover in previous videos, there will be some links in the description as well to help you out on that. But if you are ready to step up to a RDTA, I would suggest this one. If this was your first ever build and you use the coils that it came with, I'd say it would probably take you about 15 minutes and that's on the higher end to actually get this set up and running. 15 minutes right there is just to make sure your coils aren't touching the base and post right there. So I can get everything lined up, make sure there's nothing wrong there, make sure there's no hot spots on the coils or anything like that. I'd be saying 15, 20 minutes, and I would say that is on the higher end if this is your first ever RDTA. Please just keep in mind proper battery safety and no Ohm's Law before you start getting into more advanced things like this because it is crucial and it is very important. Safety comes before anything else, so do just take that into mind and please don't blow that off. Other than that though, let's talk about how you can win one of these guys. All right, so to enter the giveaway for this black Limitless RDTA, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, leave a thumbs up on the video, and in the comments below, leave a comment letting me know, are you into RDTAs, are you into RDAs? Have you ever used a rebuildable before? If so, what is your favorite rebuildable? If you haven't, why haven't you? Are you thinking about getting into them? Is it the is it building your own coils that sets you back? Let me know if you are into rebuildables and what your favorite is. And if you're not, what's stopping you? Do you prefer the ease of just quickly switching out a coil or anything like that? On the topic of giveaways, if you haven't already seen on AspenValleyVapes.com, we have a giveaway going on right now for a Segali 213 brand new. There will be a link in the description to enter that giveaway. For this giveaway, you do not have to enter any link. You just have to make sure you like the video, subscribe, and then left a comment down below answering that question there. Before this video here does wrap up, I would just like to say please check out CASA and support HR2058. It's extremely important. I'm going to put another video up talking a bit, little bit more about it, but, but at Aspen Valley Vapes, we have been deeply rooted in advocacy this whole time. Myself and Corey, who is one of the other owners of Aspen Valley Vapes, 
We did fly out to DC back in December to meet with OMB and the FDA. OMB is the Office of Management and Budget, and that is who we met with along with the FDA in regards to the deeming regulations. Obviously, those regulations just came through anyway, but we are deeply rooted in advocacy. If you ever visited our site, you know we post a bunch of stuff regarding advocacy. I was a pack a day smoker and I did use a can of chewing tobacco every day as well. So I was double dipping nicotine fiend pretty much. Vaping is extremely important to me. That would be a video for another time, but please just check out CASA and there will be a link in the description to directly support HR 2058. It takes about 30 seconds, honestly. CASA has set it up so it's extremely easy to do. All you have to do is fill out your name and address and it will automatically pre-populate a form for you to email to your local representatives. 30 seconds of your time at most. If you've got those autofill functions on your little Google Chrome or, Moz or Firefox, boom, 10 seconds. It is so easy to do. HR 205A right now is the best thing we as vapors can do until some more information comes out. That is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and vape on.